Alright, so we can't actually fully complete this level in one go, unfortunately, until we get a certain power up. But that's fine, we'll just play through it for what we can do now. Before we start, however, there is something I want to point out here on this mountain. If you kind of look at the marking underneath the star, you can barely read it. It says L is real 2401. That's really all I wanted to show off. I won't go into detail about it quite yet. But in the future, that's going to be significant, so just keep that in mind. In the in the far off future. So, yeah, but that's just a little thing. Today we're going to Big Boo's Haunts. Go on a ghost hunt. Come on in here. <laughs> Pretty spooky. This level uh, definitely gave me the creeps when I was a kid, just because it's so uh, different. In terms of feel, compared to Nintendo's other levels here in Super Mario 64. The first thing we're going to do is go to this back entrance. Because we got some uh, boos hiding here. Ghosts don't die. Can you get out of here alive? <laughs> Pretty spooky. That that's in a Nintendo game. I feel like I find myself seeing that more and more, so maybe it isn't that spooky. But every time there's something creepy in one of our Nintendo playthroughs, um, it, it just kind of takes me back a bit. Because it's just such a happy, cheery game, uh, Mario 64 is. Or, you know, it's what Nintendo is known for, just like happy, friendly stuff. But yeah, this music used to freak me out so much when I was a kid. Because he had this ominous, like, humming in the background. And he had, like, this guy going off with this xylophone. In the background, you can hear it too. I used to play a little xylophone uh, back in the day. Not too, too much. I was more into like bass and guitar and piano. Um, but yeah, there's a couple boos. So we're doing a little ghost hunting today. We just got to get one more. They keep saying the same thing over and over again as well. And then I think the final one should be right here. I just ground pound him. Boom. Here comes the master of mischief. The tower of terror. The big boo. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So once we defeat all the boos, the big boo appears. King boo, I guess. Uh, he doesn't have a crown in this game. I believe they give him a crown in uh, the DS remakes. Having a little hard time getting him. He has the thwomp sound effect too, which I believe remain unchanged in the uh, 3DS remakes, which is pretty funny. But yeah, so we defeat King boo and he gives us a star and then the stairs go up. Pretty silly. <laughs> Every time you get a, a star in this area, you come out of the fountain and then the boos come and get you. <laughs> it's just funny. And then we have to defeat the boo again. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <Dot. laughs> Alright, let's do our front flips into our little cage here. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. Okay, so for this one... We have to go in the basement. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna get my one man. No, oh, go, Mario, go. No. <laughs> he almost grabbed it. Well, let's try it again. Dos. <laughs> I'm getting this one man. You can't stop me. I got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but this is another level that's not too hard to get the 100 coin star because the boos each give you. Um, a fair amount of coins, they each give you a blue coin, so there's plenty of them around here. So I just wanted to get my health back before we head on down. Which I believe we could just fall through here, just like so. Go. <laughs> I'm gonna land in the water. Oh, yes, the maddening music of the merry go round To this day, it still drives me crazy. Alright, so this is Big Boo's merry-go-round. We gotta find the right one here. I think it was this. Yep. Just gotta beat some booze. Oh, goodness. There we go. And they each come out of this painting, so it's not too hard. But yeah, the previous star, we beat a Big Boo and we have to do it again. I think we have to do it three times in this level. We have to fight this, uh, this dude. And I think on the DS remake, yeah, they added one more of them as well. Alright, done and done. <laughs> a lot better than our first fight, now wasn't it? Alright. Yeah, I see, we got 30 coins right there and we um, weren't even trying to get coins. 
<laughs> Boing. Oh, goodness. Not again. Not this time, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. A backflip into a front flip. Very impressive. Secret of the haunted books. Let's see if I can remember the pattern for this. Or even how to get there in the first place. I believe it's on the second floor. It should be, right? One of these. It isn't here. Maybe it's this one. Yep. Alright. You can actually see a balcony right now. <laughs> so the books kind of hit us. But yeah, we have to hit them in a certain order. And I believe it was this. Then the small one. Then this one. I can't believe after all these years I still remember it. Yeah, if you do it wrong, you get uh, a book comes out and whacks you on the head. It's pretty funny. Yeah, we do that, and then we, we get a, another star. Pretty easy. But if you don't know what to do, I can see it being a little, little troublesome. Okay, there's another one down. Yeah, we can do the majority of the level. I think it's just one star that we can't do. He got me again. Dice. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Seek the eight red coins. All right, so this is the level that will be getting the uh, hundred coin star. Go 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 go! Got it. So I guess we'll just run around and look for some booze. I think this one goes on its own. Yeah, when we grab it, it does this funny looking thing right here. <laughs> Pretty silly. Cool, and these guys give them. They they appear in a different level. I used to always think they look like a candy because of the color. They look like a like really yummy looking candy. <laughs> Little spider goons. So I guess let's start by going out here. I think there's just coins here too. Even these guys, gotta look at them. They're kind of creepy, aren't they? What is this? Yeah, ton of coin. Oh wow, look at that. Nice. No. <laughs> yeah. And then we can go back in here. Take out these booze. Oh, this music. There's one. There's two. Nice. I think it was this way to the front of the castle, I believe. Oh, look at this. Oh, maybe this would make our lives easier when we're trying to get that one man up there, huh? Wow. We're almost halfway there. Look at this. Cool. Haven't even got our first red coin either. All right. Uh, so I suppose we'll start in here. Ah, yes. Someone's favorite piano. <laughs> Dude, this terrified me as a child. <laughs> the, the killer piano. Oh no. <laughs> a piano with teeth. Pretty far out, really. All right, so we got books with teeth as well. Gotta make sure we actually get them too, because they give us. Do the chairs give us anything? Oh god. Give us a headache. Okay. <laughs> Let's go up here. I remember as a kid running around for so long looking for all the red coins, and I think the final one was up here somewhere. Yeah. Top of the bookshelves. Okay, let's look in this room. You know the boo? And this weird eyeball monster, we can get his attention, and he'll follow us, and if we run around in circles. We give this a uh, blue coin. I think that's about it for this room. Duh. This music puts me in a panic. <laughs> oh, don't fall, Mario Brothers. Okay, mid. Alright, there's another one. I think there's a red coin in here, too. Uh, yep, right here. Come on, Boo. Boo, I need you. Boo, please. I need that coinage. Yeah, I need you just gotta bait him. Look at him and then turn her away. Yeah? Come on, come get it. I got my back turn. Oh da Okay. That works. I'll take it. <laughs> he like de-rendered. He like despawned for a second. That was crazy. Alright, so let's go ahead and start I guess over here. We got our polygons Mario bro. Nothing in this room. You can actually get uh, the star from this area if um, you do a tricky jump in that room that we were just in. Uh, let's grab this. I think that was the only thing that was in this room. 
Let's see. Oh, we got another eyeball monster. Oh, yeah, the uh, gravestones of all things. Guess it makes sense. Let's just run around in a circle. There we go. Get them all dizzy. Nice. So for these, you gotta get in front of them. They go up. Then you have to grab it before it crushes you. Eh. I don't think there was anything here. Yeah, it was just the two. That's right. Okay. So we're almost there. I know we can go up that way. Oh yeah, there's this over here. Yeah, the fake door. There's actually a little glitch that it won't show you the star appearing, but it only happens in this level. Like, it'll point to it, but it won't actually, like, go through the wall for whatever reason. Alright, so... Oh, you know what? Before we grab the star, what am I thinking? Let's go ahead. Oh, I went to the wrong room. My bad. I think we can go through this way. Yep. And we can get some more coins from the booze on the merry-go-rounds. That's right. It should be just enough. I think we can get the keen boo to appear again, but we don't want to fight him. Yeah, there we go. Another one. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, good. Let's grab it. Will I keep moving? I will. <laughs> okay, I'll say. <laughs> that was silly. Alright, so now that we have our 100 coin star, we can get out of here. If I can find the exit. Around here somewhere. Had to take the elevator back up. Duh. Funny. I think it was through this door. No. That just lo loops back in the merry-go-round. Yeah, we have to go through here. This looks like some Resident Evil stuff right here, huh? Just the, I don't know, the color tone of the wall. Which reminds me of Resident Evil. So yeah, we can ride this, go back up. No. Oh look, and there's even another eyeball monster there. Yeah, he'll shoot like lenses at you or something. Contacts lenses by the looks of it. Well, let's go ahead and grab this. Done and done. See, not too bad at all. Oh, there will be worse ones. For sure. Wow, we almost got 41 ups. You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the uh, big star. But before you move on, how about otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? Oh, I didn't think they actually told you that. Interesting. Okay, cool. It's been so long since I played this. Now, I think there's about one more star that we can get. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So, um, after this, we won't be able to get the other star until we, uh, get that power-up I was talking about. But that's okay. Yeah, you see, it's right there. So this one, we have to fight this big boo dude. And to get to him, it's a little sneaky. We have to go to the attic. The only way to get up there is to use this that's a little bit out of view. Oh yeah, I guess we could have gotten here to get more coins as well, huh? But yeah, look at this. Another boo fight. <laughs> Just gotta look away and ground pound. Not too hard. Nice. The tricky part is actually getting up there to get this star. I know there's an easier way, but I'm not entirely sure how to do it. This is just the way I always do it. How to use our camera right here? I think this is one up too. Yep. Nice. <laughs> cool. Done and done. Thirty-one stars. Wow. We're making some pretty good progress, aren't we? I've been having a lot of fun replaying this game. I just want to make sure that there's nothing else we could do right now. Eye to eye in the secret room. Yep. It's actually a very easy one to do, but unfortunately we don't have the proper tools for it. So we'll have to come back some other time. As for that. But yeah, that'll be the final star that we get. So that'll be a cool thing to do. Uh, once we can. I think there's actually one other star that we won't be able to do in this level as well. 
until we get another power-up. But there's only two more power-ups to get, and then we'll be set. So alright, that looks to be it for now uh, for Mario 64. Nice chill little video today. Thanks you guys for watching. I had fun. When I get, let's make it even 40, huh? There we go. Mm, got a cool uh, little aquariums right here. Alright, and next time we're going to uh, head into one of my favorite levels, which is pretty exciting. And then we'll finally uh, do the first Bowser fight. Wow, I don't think I've ever had this many stars before fighting Bowser before. It's pretty funny. What does it say? Using the cap blocks, you really should, you know. To make them solid, you can break them. You have to press the colored cap switches in the castle's hidden courses. You find the hidden courses, only after regaining some of the power stars. Cap locks are a big help. Red for the wing cap, green for the metal cap, blue for the vanish cap. Wow, what a spoiler. Huh. What a mega spoiler. Alright, well, that's fine. Okay, dudes. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.